Now we're going to look at exercise two, which is to use BLAST to compare amino acid sequences for cytochrome C between species. So what we're going to look at here is our first homo sapiens, individual number one, and compare that to all of the other individuals here. So to do this, let's go back to our BLAST website. And remember, we're doing a protein BLAST. And for here, what we want to do is now click on this box that says align two or more sequences. So now two boxes show up. So we can enter our homo sapiens sequence here in the subject sequence. Let's go to our list of test sequences. So let's pick up homo sapiens and copy and paste. And now up here is all of the sequences we want to compare to homo sapiens. So what we want to do is take a look and let's grab all of these species, species 1, 2, and 3. So we can copy and paste everything in here. Alright, so we scroll up and now let's go ahead and get rid of the name so we're left with just the amino acid sequences. Okay, and we'll just remember that we put them in order, species 1, 2, and 3, and let's go ahead and blast. Alright, so here are our results, and let's scroll down. And you'll notice three different sets of data here. So Homo sapiens is what we're comparing it to. So for the first species, our match was a 47%. That's our identity value. For the second species, we compared the Homo sapiens 1, our match was 38%, and for the last species, our match was a 40%. So those are the identity values you can enter in your table as the match to the Homo sapiens. One thing I do want to point out is, in any given comparison, the query is the subject that we're comparing, so you'll see that. And again, subject 2 is the Homo sapiens that we put in. And notice where it enters the letter in the middle row. So where you see an amino acid letter, that means there's a match. Where you see a blank or a plus, that means there's no match. So what this means is that 47 out of the 99 amino acids match, and therefore the remaining 52 amino acids don't match for species 1 and Homo sapiens. So again, those remaining 52 can be found by the blank spaces or the plus. So when you go ahead and look at question 6, which is what amino acids are different between Homo sapiens 1 and pantroglodytes, which is the chimp, what you want to do is go to your sequences and look for the blank spaces or the plus. So for instance, you would have a P and that of a V. You would have a V instead of an E and so on. And that's how you can compare to see where the chimps and the humans are different for this particular protein.